what's up guys and welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to be installing this ram stick into this Johnsbo NC2 RGB ram cover now it's a very simple procedure this is what it's going to look like once you're done it does look really nice you know it's made of metal and as you can see the heatsink will stick out a little bit on either side and this is where it lights up so you see this white plastic part that's inside that's what lights up and that's what it looks like pretty much all the way around and as for the connection it's just a simple three pin style connection okay so we'll get right into it as you can see here you've got two hex style screws here and this is the allen key that they give you you just take out these two screws and then this piece will come right off just like that now what we want to do is grab some iso alcohol and clean the surface with some alcohol wipes so that the surface is clear of any dust debris or anything that will not allow it to adhere easily now we'll grab our ram sticks and the spots where we're going to stick the heatsink, we will also clean with some iso alcohol as well. That way it sticks and bonds very well to it. So here I am just going to clean the top of the chips and also, as you saw, the crucial logo. And some of the other accessories they give you are these things here. These are basically your lifters. So if your RAM stick is too short, you would install these so that your RAM stick would sit at the right height this is the heatsink that you're going to use so you have two per ram stick and also a foam strip like this to help with the gaps this foam strip is to be applied in between the ram cover so that it will space evenly so now that we know what parts we're going to use I'm going to quickly fast forward everything so you can see pretty much how I install it it really is pretty basic so I really hope you guys get it here we go.
for this particular ram stick, the heatsink sticks out a bit too much. So I'm just going to quickly readjust it and you can do that as well if you feel that the heatsink sticks down too much. Now that we've finished installing the RAM sticks into the RAM covers, I'm going to install them on this motherboard so you can see what it looks like when it's installed on your motherboard. Okay, now that it's all connected, once I flick on the power for the PSU, it will all turn on. And well, there you have it guys, how you can turn any boring RAM stick into an RGB RAM stick. I think it looks pretty cool. And as always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, guys, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. I'll see you in the next one, guys.